All right, Mr. D, nuisance wildlife. You want to start with geese? <laughs> Let's start with geese. Let's start with geese. All right. It's one of the few that I don't have a problem with at my house. Okay, all about, right. Um, but uh, <laughs> geese can be a problem, especially if you have a pond or, or, or close to a pond. And in the last several years, we've had uh, resident populations mm -hmm. of geese, especially around golf courses and things yes. like that. And, and, you know, my personal opinion, if they're residents, they're not migratory. And I don't <laughs> personally think they ought to be covered under migratory uh, bird laws. But but uh, my local game warden doesn't agree with me. Right. That, so I'm not going right. to argue the point. But uh, anyway, there, there are several things that you can do uh, that might help. Uh, uh, I know one thing that I've seen in my career one time. Uh, the population of, and it was actually ducks, got so high in one of the neighborhoods here in Memphis that uh, they uh, developed a disease, oh. and they, it was just a massive die out, and there were oh, dead man. ducks everywhere. And it was, uh, I think, a form of cholera or something like that, that uh, it was a type of disease that affected the ducks because the population got so high. <laughs> so that can possibly happen if, if you get really, really high populations, but these geese are, are vegetarians, of course, and, and uh, they they can uh, they can damage wheat populations mm. and, and things because they'll pull the plants up by the roots. They don't just bite a little neat piece off of the mm. leaf. They they'll pull up uh, small plants. Uh, and they've been used in gardens before. If you get the garden plants up a pretty good size, uh, they've actually used them for weed control in gardens ah. because they'll go in and they'll eat the small weeds in that? gardens. Okay. That's, that's one good thing about them. Right. And, and uh, they're also very tasty on the Thanksgiving uh, dinner <laughs> oh. table. You know, uh, that, that's another good thing about geese. So, so uh, if any of them oh, happen boy. to meet their demise, you can kind of keep that in mind. Okay. But damage, and I went to, uh, to uh, Prevention and Control of Wildlife Damage. This is an old publication. And you can get this, uh, okay. this same uh, publication. But um, ha modify the habitat. Mm. If you have ponds and it's your pond, you can mo make the sides more vertical. You know, bring in a trusty track hoe and, wow. and, and instead of having gentle slopes to the going into the pond, make it more vertical. Uh, eliminate nesting areas around the pond. If you've got a little island out in the middle of the pond, like some people do, that's perfect for. The, the, you know, the geese to nest out uh -huh. there and the predators, it's not as easy for the predators right. to get out there. So you don't want that kind of thing. Uh, uh, you can uh, use fences, install fences around ponds, gardens, and yards. Uh, uh, install, you know, this is, I don't know how practical this is, overhead grids or netting on oh. ponds, reservoirs, and fish raceways. Change uh, some of the cultural methods. Change the timing of planting and harvesting of vulnerable crops. Produce winter grains instead of spring grains. Uh, uh, you know, use less preferred plant species in parks, cemeteries, and lawns. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and I don't know what those species are. Uh -huh. uh, frightening is something that you can do, and uh, there's a lot of things here that frighten them. And I personally think the last one is the best. <laughs> I bet I know what that is. Flags, mylar tape, <laughs> balloons, scarecrows, water spray devices, automatic exploders, pyrotechnics, recorded distress calls, and dogs. Oh, okay. Dogs. All right, dogs. Labrador, All right, okay. oh, yeah. a retriever, anything right. that's right. used to hunting dogs are really, really good at keeping geese away. Okay. Okay. So that's really good for frightening. Uh, live capture. There's a time during a goose's life that he can't fly, he or she can't fly when they're molting. And you can herd them up like cattle. Huh. And that's during the summertime, I think, maybe late summer, mm -hmm. uh, or mid, mid to late summer, uh, they're molting and you can herd them up like cattle and put them in a cattle trailer and haul them off and take them <laughs> to your neighbors or, you know. Uh, you need to check with your local game warden about sure. it before you do that and make sure that, uh, because it is illegal to transport wild game without. without. Those are some things, the best thing, shooting, 12 year old with 20 gauge shotgun. <laughs> that is the best thing that you can do that's where it's legal. And that says it here hunting is the preferred method. Shoot them. Right. Shoot them. Shoot them. All right. Thanks, Mr. D. Good stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.